Hello, I am here at this uh, beautiful mountain of Mari. Uh, this is Pakistan. We got the Hindu Kush, we got the Karakoram, we got the Himalayas, and uh, calling Mari a mountain. So welcome to the beautiful small mountain of Pakistan. And I'm here on vacation, and I thought, hey, why not record a video that can help you do online business? So here we are. have this beautiful business idea and you're all psyched up about it and you make your plans and you think that this is going to change your life and you're going to do it and you're going to pursue your dream and be independently self-employed and you know not answer to a boss blah 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 and then the money equation comes in you figure out how much money you need and you realize you do not have that money and then you can almost hear the deflating sound of your dreams as you go back to that familiar place called square one. Well, there is a way of starting a business without money. Let's talk about that. First, we have to understand how businesses start. We tend to assume that businesses start because of money, because someone somewhere has money and, hey, let's start a business, they say, and they start a business. Well, that's not exactly how it works. I can guarantee you, if you do not know this already, that there's tons of money lying around in banks waiting for what? Think about that. Why is that money there? What is it waiting for? Why is it employed in any business? Money is not waiting for a business idea. The money is waiting for an entrepreneur like you who can execute that idea. Ideas are dime a dozen, almost as common, dare I say it, as money lying in banks. But we're not talking about getting money from the bank. We're not talking about even fishing out a good idea. We are talking about executing an idea and using the resources available to start something meaningful that is profitable in the long term. So, having said that, why is it that we still kill our dreams, kill our ideas with this line, but I didn't have the money? You know why? Because you, my friend, are being a bad entrepreneur. Think about this. What is really the definition of an entrepreneur? An entrepreneur basically takes, and this is the this is the textbook definition, and this is my favorite definition, which is a very rare thing, that something in the textbook is my favorite, but hey. Definition of an entrepreneur is someone who takes resources from area of low production to area of higher production. And if you're an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur, how you want to call it, then you have an idea that requires upfront capital, and you don't have upfront capital, well then, you know, uh, you're being a bad entrepreneur. That's your job. That is the challenge of using available resources. And if you're whining and crying that I did not have the money, I did not have the time, I did not have the strength, I did not have the family relations, blah, 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 then hey, welcome to the favorite place of everyone, square one, where everyone is together complaining about everything else, where the entrepreneurs, the doers, the starters, the pro-hobbyists are making things happen. So let's talk about how to make those things happen. Well, by God's ultimate grace, I have been able to start businesses that required a relatively large amount of upfront capital, large for me at least, and I've alhamdulillah been able to start businesses that require literally no upfront capital at all. It just required my time, which, like money, is a resource that you also have. So that is a hint in itself. To start a business without money, you can start it if you have these two resources. Resource number one, is a skill that you can sell and resource number two is your ability to present your skill in a sellable manner what that means is basically you productize your skill you wrap it around in a business that you have a hobby but you present it in a way that other people are willing to pay you for it for example you like to cook so you become a baker baker is essentially doing exactly that that a baker is productizing their hobby they are wrapping a business around their hobby they are wrapping business structures and business systems around something as simple and as common as a hobby and you can apply that to pretty much anything if you if you love writing if you like photography if you like even talking to people all of this can and does make sense once you see it from the lens of helping people because that my friend is how businesses start businesses start when you help people solve a problem. That is why people pay you for it. Think about that. The only time someone paid you for something or paid someone for something is when that person had a perceived or a real problem 
to solve. And that is where businesses come from. That is where the execution of the idea makes the most sense. So remember that if you want to start a business without money, well, first of all, you can start a freelancing career. That is focusing on these two things, having a skill to sell. And number two, knowing how to sell that skill to the right kind of audience. That's firstly. And secondly, you have not started already. So the ideas are not that important as much as execution. As the Chinese proverb goes, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The next best time is now. If you haven't done already, go to the website justadventure.com or prohobbyist.com to download the workbook where you can find your business. That's the name of the workbook and it's a small little exercise where you can do to find the intersection between what you are fond of, your hobby, your passion, your even ideas and what the market will pay you for. And that is an excellent starting ground to finding the kind of business, the kind of calling that is just for you. Here's the bottom line. Money should not be the reason for not starting a journey. Either find a better reason for not starting a journey or start your journey. I wish you nothing but the best. God bless and just adventure. On your, on your dreams, pursue your dreams. Because here's the, here's the bottom line. If you, what was the bottom line? <laughs> I'm saying it wrong, isn't it? But, oh, I just, oh, okay. You stop in the middle of the sentence. Which, 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 which sentence? Are you even saying what it says? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> here's the bottom line. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Can you go, please? I can see. <clears throat> this last line is gonna take like 30 minutes yeah. to do. Right? Here's the bottom line.